What's up guys? I didn't vlog the last couple, I wanna say days, more like uh, I guess it has been days, a couple hours or whatever, I haven't been vlogging. Biggest reason was because I made it to Midland. I am currently in Midland, Texas. It was a 12 hour drive, but that's not including all the stops you make and puppy Kai being his puppy self and also pulling over because your muffler has just exploded for whatever reason. Anyway, I'm in Midland, Texas and in case you didn't see my previous video, I'm basically here to get a job. Temporary job, but still a job. How long I work completely depends on what happens with the Jeep, and while I'm here, I fully intend to get everything worked out on the Jeep, at least everything major. Getting the windshield fixed, getting the transfer case fixed, and pretty much anything else that needs resulted. I'd also like to try to get rid of some stuff. There's some stuff I figured out I really don't need, so get rid of some dead weight, work on things that need worked out, you know, stuff like that. I decided to swing by my uncle's place and just kind of say hi to the family, say hi to my cousins and stuff, and they let me come in. They fed me, which was awesome, because all I ate all day was a couple donuts. And so I got some cool burritos, those were really good. And then while we were talking, my uncle said that there's a place down by a shop that he actually might become a potential home for me. So well, this right here is a fifth wheel trailer, which means I can't really pull it with my Jeep, but we might be able to get it dirt cheap. Now, it's a little rough around the edges, but spending maybe a couple hundred dollars for a home would not be that bad. I would be perfectly comfortable living in the Jeep, but everybody is adamant that I get something a little bigger. Plus, it wouldn't be bad to have a home base. Now, I don't really know the details on this, how much it's gonna cost or anything like that, but if I can get it around, I don't know, a couple hundred dollars to a thousand dollars, my plan, I might actually buy it, maybe do some work on it and see if I can flip the price on it. In my head, I'm thinking of all the possibilities and stuff, the financial bonuses of this. If it's got AC, I'll be able to leave Kai in there, which would be great if I actually do get an established job. I can live in there, get stuff done, have a home base, you know, would not be that terrible. And then once I'm ready to get back on the road, I might either keep it as a home base if I can figure out a place to leave it, I guess, or buy a place to leave it, I don't know. Other option is maybe sell it for something that I would actually need, like an actual trailer that I can use with a Jeep. Maybe a teardrop or something. Maybe I can trade somebody one for like a $3,000 or whatever. Yeah. It smells like dirt in here. Got a vacuum. AC unit. Stove, a microwave, a fridge that may or may not work. Oh, it's wooden. It's actually got a bathroom that doesn't look dirty per se, but this could be a whole stinking house. It's mostly just dust. I figured it was gonna be like disgusting in here, but I mean, it just looks like any house that hasn't been attended in the last five years. Hi, what on earth is your problem? You're okay, puppy. I'm not going anywhere. So, a little bit of update on the whole RV house thing, I guess. I don't know. So, I guess the owner is not interested in selling it at the moment, um, or at least not lowballing it. I don't, I don't really know the story. But, but he, um,. He is okay with me living in it as long as I like pull all the junk out. I guess he hasn't even looked at it in the last two years. He just like left it here and that's like the whole story on it. But I think tomorrow, I'm gonna come back here, pull all the junk out of it, clean it up the best I can, you know, figure that whole thing out. My uncle has places around here that I can park it. We can get it parked in an RV spot, connect it to water and whatever else, see what utilities work. If it's got AC and water, that's already a plus for a home base. I think what I'll end up doing is probably see if I can use that as my temporary home. Um, or at least for the most part. There's not really places around here where I can travel and live in the Jeep, and as much as I love living in the Jeep, the biggest concern is Kai, and if I'm if it has AC, the place is big enough that I can leave Kai in the house and go work somewhere, which is awesome. So I might actually end up using it for something like that. That way I can leave Kai at a, a home of some kind. And then, I don't know, we'll see at the end of the day. My uncle's pretty convinced that the guy will eventually sell it for cheap, so we'll see if we can get a good deal on it go from there i don't really want to stress about it too much but i mean hey it gives me something to do until i look for a job well maybe i'll end up loving this and i can just start a full-time job cleaning out rvs and houses who knows
done a lot of cool things in Midland. It's a pretty bland town. But one thing that is really incredible here is the sunsets. Unfortunately though, as incredible as they are, they don't last very long. So that one, I barely made it to get those shots. But um, I don't really know what to do from here. My day is pretty much spent. Tomorrow, probably gonna spend the whole day working on that RV, get it all cleaned up. And uh, aside from that, I really don't know what there is to do. I still need to look for jobs. I did a little bit today, but I haven't found anything really solid. Um, don't know, trying to do all that applying stuff, different things, but it would be nice to just have a place where I'm out of everybody's way. Um, I don't wanna like couch surf. I'd feel really bad, even though I have friends and family here. I don't wanna like intrude on anybody's space. I don't wanna feel like an obligation. So it would be nice to have something. I would be perfectly happy living in the Jeep, but I feel like when I do find work, I am going to need something a little bit better than a Jeep, unless it's like a total like construction job or whatever. The biggest issue is, is there's not an Anytime Fitness here. There's one in Odessa, which is about 20 minutes away. There's not one here specifically in Midland. So I guess it's not terrible, but I just like being closer to work. That way I can get that extra like 20 minutes of sleep or whatever. Oh well, not to be too picky. Mm -hmm.